people are seeing it regularly in the Washington Post, the New York Times, all the other papers. There's water on the moon. What does that mean? The component gases of water, hydrogen and oxygen, when converted to a liquid form, is the most powerful chemical propellant we know of. In fact, the space shuttle main engines use liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. One corporation plans to mine the moon's water and deliver it to a fuel station in Earth orbit. If you work from the moon by using very carefully defined, optimized procedures, you can reduce the cost of getting raw materials to Earth orbit by a factor of up to 20 to 1. So it's inevitable that if the fuel is there, people are going to buy it. Once we've got a good transport infrastructure in place and we can begin to exploit the resources of the moon, then bringing lunar oxygen into low Earth orbit to fuel all of the activities, that's a major breakthrough. The consequence of that is that the missions that we can consider will be on a scale which I think defies imagination at this point in time. A resupply station in Earth orbit would be a stepping stone into deep space. Low Earth orbit is the first stopping point you have in space to go anywhere in space. The process of getting there is half the job of getting to anywhere in the universe. Several companies are already marketing services outside our orbit, including mining for precious minerals on nearby asteroids. And government space agencies and private companies alike are currently drawing up plans for travel to Mars. To get to Mars, you're going to need a spacecraft in the 700-ton region. There's no way you can launch that in one piece. It's got to be launched in pieces. It's got to be launched cost-effectively. One company suggests sending robots to build settlements so humans arrive with a place to stay. All of this creativity in the private sector can be traced back to NASA's pedigree of groundbreaking work. NASA have spent 50 years inventing the technologies that never existed before. We are the beneficiaries of all of that hard sweat and work. They have made possible what can now be done by private enterprise. That's really what this is all about.